Namaste and welcome again to this course on Introduction to Basic Spoken Sanskrit. We've been looking at different, uh, the different uh, declensions so far or the different vibhaktis. In today's lecture, which is lecture number 13, we are going to look at the accusative case or also known as the second case or in Sanskrit the Dvitiya Vibhakti. So today's lesson is really an introduction to the accusative case or the second case. The objectives of this particular session will be to learn the forms and word endings for the accusative or the second case for all the three genders for nouns as well as pronouns as we have been doing in our previous sessions. Secondly, to understand the different contexts in which it is used. And then we'll do a brief revision of the verbs that we've seen because you've been introduced to a few more verbs in our previous sessions now. And then to learn a few more uh, verbs so that you have a bigger vocabulary of verbs. And then finally, it will be to practice the conjunctions that we had briefly looked at like ch, which means and, and also api, which is also. And also to learn this new word, uh, the new words like uh, please, uh, avashyam, etc. So, this is the definition of the accusative or the karma karaka, which literally means the object case and more simply it is known as the dvitiya vibhakti, which literally translates as the second case. Now, the, the definition is the accusative case or dvitiya vibhakti of noun form represents the what or whom of the sentence. In other words, the accusative case represents the object or karma in the sentence. Now, what does that mean in a simpler uh, sense? Would be that if I said, I eat an apple, then the what is the verb? The verb is eat. And the question with the verb is eat what? So, the answer to that is the object. Huh? And that here is the accusative, will be uh, given the accusative case and also the karma karaka. Now, this is the first simple rule and most widely used application of the second case. So, it says that in the active voice sentences, the object is always in the accusative case. So, we look at the uh, to some nouns in the second case in the masculine, feminine and neuter. So, chasha kaha, chasha kaha asti, aham, chashakam sthapayami means I place it or aham chashakam swikaromi I accept chashakaha asti chashakam swikaromi I accept or chashakaha asti I will give you a few alternatives chashakaha asti chashakam pashyami I will see the glass chashakam pashyami chashakaha chashakam so, this is the action that I do to associate it with the second case, that I see it. So, the object of my seeing is the second, it would be in the second case. So, chashakaha asti, chashakam pashyami. Kam pashyami, chashakam pashyami. Now, chamasaha asti, chamasam pashyami. Chamasaha, chamasam. Purushaha asti, purusham pashyami. Balakaha asti, balakam pashyami. Vrikshaha, tree. Vrikshaha asti, vriksham pashyami. Alright, now like I said, this question, if you look at the screen now, is used for the question what or whom. So, what are you seeing? I see the tree, I see the glass, tari chasha, uh, vriksham, chashakam. Whom do you see? I see uh, the man, so Purusham Pashyami. We are looking at the masculine initially. And here I have got to, to whom, to what. So that is also because there are some words, uh, some verbs like to speak, Vadami. Vadami, so means to speak. So speak to whom. Huh? So Purushaha Asti, Purusham Vadami. Purushaha Asti, Purusham Vadami. Chhatraha or student asti, chhatram vadami. Kam vadami, whom do I speak to? To whom do I speak? Chhatram vadami. So, you understand why that to what or to whom is given there. So, let us look at some masculine words. So, chashakaha, chashakam, chamasaha, 
chamasam so do this chamasam purushaha urusham shikshakaha shikshakam vrikshaha vriksham margaha margam naraha naram balakaha palakam janaha janam chhatraha chhatram apanaha apannam deshaha desham uttamam so i hope you got some practice and now you can also try probably making a sentence by yourself now one request is that we've been looking at words we've been doing sentences in this in our sessions we've been i've been given you some practice but finally it will only work for you when you are able to apply it independently in your daily context so what i would really suggest is that once we have done a particular lesson like maybe we've learned the first uh, the first uh, the the second case for the masculine words i would suggest you put a pause button here and then you just try and apply it in whichever uh, context you are in all right now supposing you don't have a vocabulary you don't know what the word is so supposing you say chair you just know chair so like we had done in one of our previous sessions i had uh, half jokingly tried to sanskritize english what you can also do is say chair chairam all right just for the fun of it because what it would allow you to do is to have a confidence about applying the declension the particular vibhakti to whatever word that you are uh, to whatever word you're using in a sentence ha huh? in the right place of course so now moving on we have the word in the feminine so sthalika becomes sthalikam pashyami sthalika sthalikam pashyami mala malam pashyami mala malam pashyami uttamam mahila mahilam pashyami balika balikam pashyami great now let's use it uh, use the e the long e and see what happens to that so can you do you have any guesses what would happen there so if i had the word kupi and i would say kupim pashyami great kupi kupim so you're getting a hang of it we just have to add the m at the end kupi kupim lekhani lekhanim pashyami kim pashyami lekhanim pashyami duravani so duravani duravanim uttamam so now let's do some practice on that so we have the word in the feminine uh, akara ending here so sthalika sthalikam mala malam now please do this action because this will teach your body that the object case will get the m associated with the action, with the object case okay so mala malam uh, mahila mahilam mahilam shikshika shikshikam petika petikam churika churikam balika balikam vatika vatikam patashala patashalam chhatra chhatram kunchika kunchikam lata latam uttamam moving on to the e the long e so we have kupi kupim duravani duravanim nari narim lekhani lekhanim ankani ankanim marjani marjanim uh, nartaki dancer nartakim putri putrim patni patnim sahodari sahodarim droni dronim nadi nadim uttamam all right so we've looked at the masculine and the feminine words and we've seen the uh, what happens in the accusative case next we are going to look at the neuter so what is interesting you'll see is that if you have the neuter word like pena kam which means a soap and why is a soap a pena kam because penam karoti pena means foam so it's a foam maker and therefore it is pena kam and in the first person also it is or sorry in the first case or the nominative subject case it is pena kam as we have seen with neuter words so pena kam asti pena kam pashyami 
पुष्पम अस्ति पुष्पम पश्यामि न्यू वर्ड कंकतम कंकतम अस्ति कंकतम पश्यामि किम पश्यामि कंकतम pashyami you remember the phenakam we had seen the soap so this is another new vocabulary for you so what is this this is a tooth paste so it makes foam in the teeth what is the word for tooth danta so this would be a danta phenakam danta phenakam asti danta phenakam pashyami kim pashyami danta phenakam pashyami so what we find in the neuter is that the subject the first case and the object or the second case are the same uh, retain the same form so let's do a little exercise it will be very easy for you so phalam phalam pushpam pushpam mitram mitram chitram chitram chalana chitram chalana chitram now what you just need to notice is that when you're doing it do a different body language for each of them so when you say chit चलनचित्रम अस्ति एंड देन चलनचित्रम पश्यामि पत्रम पत्रम वस्त्रम वस्त्रम गृहम गृहम नगरम नगरम फेनकम फेनकम व्यजनम द फैन व्यजनम द्वारम द्वारम उत्तमम नाउ मूविंग ऑन वील ट्राय एंड यूज द सेकेंड केस इन द यूजिंग द वर्ड kripaya so for example we have uh, when you want to request somebody for something then you would say kripaya chashakam dadatu and then i've just taught you a new word here avashyam avashyam means yes indeed all right avashyam dadami definitely i will give kripaya swikarotu is another way of saying please accept something so if i want to say kripaya uh, please accept the flower i will say kripaya pushpam swikarotu let's make it more elegant pushpam swikarotu or and then the answer would be aham pushpam swikaromi uttamam so i'd like to demonstrate this with uh, for you uh, with a dialogue with piyush again so listen carefully to how the dialogue unfolds and how the second case is used in that context namo nama नमो नमः सर्वं कुशलं किम् अम् सर्वं कुशलं सो so, अद्य वयं द्वितीय विभक्तिं पाठयामः अम् um. अस्तु सो वी आर गोइंग टू डू दिस डायलॉग बिटवीन अस यूजिंग दिस कृपया ददातु स्वीकरोतु एट्सेट्रा तो पीयूषः लेट पीयूषः कृपया चषकं ददातु चषकं स्वीकरोतु अहम् चषकं स्वीकरोमि कृपया स्थालिकां ददातु अहम् ददामि अवश्यमेव स्थालिकां स्वीकरोतु अहम् स्थालिकां स्वीकरोमि कृपया लेखनीं ददातु लेखनीं स्वीकरोतु अहम् लेखनीं स्वीकरोमि कृपया करव्यजनम् ददातु करव्यजनम् स्वीकरोतु अहम् करव्यजनम् स्वीकरोमि इट्स वेरी हॉट हियर राइट नाउ सो करव्यजनम् स्वीकरोमि कृपया मालाम् ददातु मालाम् स्वीकरोतु अहम् मालाम् स्वीकरोमि नाउ आई हैव अ शॉप आउट हियर इट्स हिज टर्न टू आस्क मी व्हाटेवर ही वांट्स फ्रॉम हियर कृपया चषकं ददातु अहम् चषकं ददामि अहम् अपि चषकं स्वीकरोमि उत्तमं कृपया स्थालिकं ददातु अहम् स्थालिकां ददामि अहम् स्थालिकं स्वीकरोमि उत्तमं कृपया दूरवाणीं ददातु अहम् दूरवाणीं न ददामि <laughs> कृपया लेखनीम ददातु नहीं अहम् दूरवाणीम अपि ददामि अम् अहम् दूरवाणीम अपि स्वीकरोमि कृपया मामा कार्यजनम् ददातु 
अहम् भावतः करव्यजनम् ददामि स्वीकरोतु अहम् स्वीकरोमि करव्यजनम् उत्तमम् अस्तु सो आई थिंक यू गोट अ फेयर आइडिया नाउ ऑफ हाउ द सेकंड केस कैन बी यूज्ड इन आस्किंग रिक्वेस्टिंग फॉर समथिंग एस वेल एस व्हेन यू गिविंग समथिंग सो द ऑब्जेक्ट दैट यू गिविंग विल बी इन द सेकंड केस and not the person who is receiving. So, for example, if I say Piyushaha or Chhatraha Asti, if I say Aham Chhatram Dadami, it would mean that I am giving the student to someone, but which is not what you want to say. What you want to say is that I am giving the pen, which is Lekhani, to the student. So, Aham Lekhanim Dadami. We have not yet seen the the person who is receiving. What what declension that person will get but we'll come to it slowly slowly uh, for now it is enough for you to know that the object that is being given will be in the second case Astu. Astu. Dhanyavada. Dhanyavada. so if you want to just quickly look at the screen and see how that works once so kripaya whatever in the second case dadatu okay and then uh, sui karotu will also get the same form now moving on Another place where this question is used uh, or rather the second case is used is when you are asking the question to where, to which place are you going? That also gets this, uh, the second case. So, if I have uh, the word, if I say for example that uh, aham dehlim gachami, kutra gachati, if somebody asks me bhavati, kutra gachati, I would say aham dehlim gachami or um, Pondicherim Gachami or London Nagaram Gachami or France Desham Gachami. So, if you have a word that you are not so sure how the ending would be, you can either add Deshaha. So, France Deshaha, which is a known word or it has a known ending. So, it becomes France Desham Gachami or Paris. So, Paris Nagaram Gachami. Or Nagpuram, Nagapura in the, the town, you can say Nagapuram Gachami. With Indian words, it's normally not a problem. It's when we have more of these foreign words that we are not so sure how they would terminate. It becomes helpful to add these extra words there. So, uh, I can do a small demo again for you, just a short one with Piyush, where I'll ask him where he's going and uh, also places of daily movement. So. Piyusha, <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. So, Bhavan um. Adya um. Kutra Kutra Gachati. Aham Adya Udyanam Gachami. Uttamam. Kiranganam Gachami. Uttamam. Chhatravasam Gachami. So, Chhatravasaha is hostel. So, Chhatravasaha will become Chhatravasam. Kridanganam will be to the playground. Anyat. Karyalayam gachami. That's an important word. Karyalayaha is the office. So, to the office will be Karyalayam. Uttamam. Astu. Astu. Shubham astu. Shubham. <laughs> okay. So, you've got a hang of this. So, just remember that the destination you're going to always has to get the second verb, uh, second case. Uh, the demonstration that we just did, Bhavan or Bhavati, Kutra Gachati and you can answer Aham Griham Mandiram Apanam uh, Kridanganam Karyalayam Cha Gachami. If you are doing a whole tour and coming back, so you can say ta 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 Cha Gachami. Alright. So let us move on and just revise what we have seen. So Purushaha becomes Purusham in the masculine. In the neuter, phalam becomes, pha, stays phalam. So, you can see that I have mentioned it in the uh, down there as a, a po point to be noted that first and second cases in, are the same for the neuter. For the feminine, we have mahila, mahilam, nari, narim. Now, let us do a little practice, some exercises because it is good to uh, it's good to just go through it uh, by yourself and see how much you have been able to assimilate what has been taught. So, I've just got a few like a fill in the blanks here. So, Bhavati 
विषयः पठतु विषयः मीनिंग सब्जेक्ट सो भवति विषयम पठतु विच मीन्स प्लीज स्टडी द सब्जेक्ट वेरी गुड नेक्स्ट छात्राः प्रश्न पृछन्ति विच मीन्स टू आस्क सो वॉट विल इट बी छात्राः प्रश्न पृछन्ति उत्तमम मूविंग ऑन ते विच मीन्स दे पत्रिका पठन्ति दे रीड द न्यूज पेपर और द मैगजीन सो वॉट वुड इट बी ते पत्रिका पठन्ति उत्तमम नेक्स्ट वन सह देवी नमति डू इट सह देवीम नमति उत्तमम नेक्स्ट वयम संस्कृतम पठाम एंड वॉट हैपन्स टू दैट इट स्टेज द सेम सो वयम संस्कृतम पठाम नाउ आई थॉट वील ऑल्सो नेचुरली डू द प्रोनाउंस एंड सी वॉट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दे अंडर गो इन द सेकेंड केस सो वी हैव अहम अहम अस्मी now if somebody is watching me uh, so i become the object of their observation so it becomes sah mam pashyati sah mam pashyati sah kim karoti sah mam pashyati if i say that person is talking to me talking to me so it becomes sah mam vadati uttamam सह माम वदति मूविंग ऑन थ्वाम बिकम्स थ्वाम सो सह थ्वाम पश्यति सह थ्वाम पश्यति फॉर द रिस्पेक्ट फॉर मैस्क्युलिन भवान अस्ति अहम भवंतम पश्यामि अहम भवंतम पश्यामि फेमिनिन भवति अस्ति अहम भवतीम पश्यामी अहम भवतीम पश्यामी नाउ लेट्स लुक एट द सेकंड केस फॉर प्रोनाउंस इन द मैस्कुलिन एंड फेमिनिन बट फॉर द थर्ड पर्सन सो वी हैव सह पुरुष अहम तम पश्यामी अहम तम पश्यामी द क्वेश्चन इज कम पश्यति कम पश्यामी इफ आई एम आस्किंग माई सेल्फ हु मैम आई सिंग कम पश्यामी तम पश्यामी एंड इफ इज नियर एष पुरुष ए तम पश्यामी ए तम पश्यामी नाउ गोइंग ऑन टू द फेमिन वी हैव सा महिला सा महिला अस्ति अहम ताम पश्यामी अहम ताम पश्यामी एंड द क्वेश्चन इज काम पश्यामि काम पश्यामि एंड द आंसर ताम पश्यामि एंड वी आल्सो नो दैट इफ यू वांट टू जॉइन द द द नाउन अलोंग विद द प्रोनाउन इट विल बी ताम महिलाम पश्यामि एंड द इफ शी वाज नियर देन ए ताम पश्यामि और ए ताम महिलाम पश्यामि गॉट दैट सो सह बिकम्स तम सा बिकम्स ताम सो इफ यू एग्जैजरेट योर माउथ वेन यू आर प्रोनाउंसिंग इट इट विल बी ईजियर फॉर योर सिस्टम टू रेकग्नाइज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू द न्यू टर सो वी सी अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग हेयर एज वी हैव सीन इन द अर्लियर केसेज एज वेल दर इज नो डिफरेंस इन द वे इट इज सेड इन द फर्स्ट केस एज वेल एज इन द सेकेंड केस सो फाइ से तत् यानम अस्ति इन द सेकेंड केस इट विल बी तत् यानम पश्यामि तत् यानम पश्यामि एंड द क्वेश्चन इज किम यानम पश्यामि किम यानम पश्यामि आंसर तत् यानम पश्यामि सो वाइल इट इज यूजिंग द वर्ड तत् वन हैज टू पे अटेंशन एंड रेकग्नाइज द फैक्ट दैट तत् यानम अस्ति द तत् represents the subject case or the nominative first case and when i'm saying tam or tat sorry tat yanam pashyami 
it is in the sub in the object case where it is the dvitya vibhakti or the accusative so then i am saying tat yanam pashyami that yanam is the object of my seeing so kim yanam tat yanam pashyami similarly if i say etat vastram asti aham etat vastram pashyami aham etat vastram pashyami kim vastram pashyami etat vastram pashyami so i hope you've understood how the third person pronouns work in the uh, uh, second case okay so quickly a small exercise there kripaya aham pashyatu will be kripaya mam pashyatu next so please see me next janakah ahfayati to call janakah twam ahfayati will become janakah twam ahfayati so father is calling you informal next the boy is calling him uh, the boy is talking to him balakah sah vadati will become balakah tam vadati balakah tam vadati and if it's a respect form it will be balakah bhavantam vadati balakah bhavantam vadati in the case of the feminine vayam sa pashyamaha it would be vayam tam pashyamaha very good and then if you have the uh, the respect form it will be vayam bhavatim pashyamaha vayam kim kurma vayam bhavatim pashyama pashyamaha and then we have the the another one which is amba tat phalam krinati she is buying ha huh? krinati means to buy so amba kim karoti amba tat phalam it stays the same krinati all right so what we'll do is we'll just do a quick revision of a few verbs and uh, that we had studied in the present imperative future in the past but more importantly we are going to focus on how they can how they are uh, used in the case of the uh, the second case so here we have bhavati be or bhavatu in the future we had bhavishyati and in the past abhavat it was okay next uh so when we use bhavati it's always in the first case generally so uh, karyam bhavati or uh, karyakramah bhavishyati there will be a program tomorrow or uh, bhojanam abhavat food is over so it takes the subject case with it now let's look at the second verb which is nayati or nayatu to take ha huh? so take please take nayatu and as we have seen uh it is a it is a particular verb that has an object that comes along with an object and so you can say chashakah asti chashakam nayatu kim nayatu chashakam nayatu would you like to use chamasah chamasam nayatu uttamam moving on pashyati we have already looked at it in various phases but just for a practice kim pashyatu pushpam pashyatu very good uh moving on patati patati means to fall so fall also is an intransitive verb which means that it doesn't take an object so it keeps the subject case so supposing i had to just say the glass falls chashakah patati chashakah patati so it stays in the first case moving on milati milati means to meet huh so to meet is a uh, is a transitive verb which means that it takes an object with it so whom do you meet kam milati and you can say mitram milati which means you meet your friend mitram milati or father meet your father so janakam milati or i meet my sister aham sahodarim milami and if i want to say i meet my sister aham mamma sahodarim milami got that and the last one in this tyajati to leave so kim tyajati let's say uh, durgunam bad habits or durabhyasah bad habit would be durabhyasam tyajati kim tyajati durabhyasam 
त्यजति नेक्स्ट करोति करोति इज वन ग्रेट वन दैट टेक्स अ लॉर्ड ऑफ द सेकंड केस किम करोति व्हाट ऑल डू यू डू अहम क्रीडाम करोमि अहम पठनम करोमि अहम इट कैन बी जस्ट सो मेनी थिंग्स इन देयर खादति किम खादति टेल मी व्हाट ऑल यू ईट सो सपोजिंग यू से अहम पूरी हां सो पूरी काम खादामि और इफ यू से बिरयानी अहम बिरयानीम खादामि और इफ यू से पिज्जा will be aham pizza am khadami not the healthiest but still it is part of our uh, contemporary practices today next janati another word that takes another verb that takes on the object case so what all do you know uh, so supposing i ask you what are the languages you know kam bhasham janati and the answer would be aham sanskritam janami इंग्लिश अहम आंग्ल जाना अहम हिंदी जाना सो यू कैन से अहम आंग्ल जाना अहम संस्कृत अभी जाना अहम हिंदी अभी जाना इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कंबाइन ऑल ऑफ दैम यू कैन से अहम संस्कृत आंग्ल हिंदी च जाना उत्तम गौर हैंग ऑफ इट नेक्स्ट शुणोति किम किम शुणोति वॉट डू यू हियर अहम गीता प्रवचन शुणोमि अहम संगीत शुणोमि अहम गीता संगीत भाषण च शुणोमि च शुणोमि उत्तम विद ददाति वी हेड डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन विथ पीयूष एंड यू सीन हाउ इट वर्क्स एंड फाइनली विथ प्रेषयति किम प्रेषयति वुड यू सेंड a letter is a patram so aham patram preshayami i send a writing okay let's do this i send an email so there we have a word for email today which is vidyut patram okay the electronic so vidyut patram so would you want to say that kim preshayati aham vidyut patram preshayami uttamam so coming uh, moving on i'll just go on to a shloka that where we can apply this and this is a verse from the bhagavad gita it says here krishna is saying in uh, in the ninth chapter he is saying that uh, whatever you give me when you give it to me with a lot of sincerity i will accept it so it can be a leaf it can be a flower it can be a a fruit it can just be water but if you give it to me with devotion everything is acceptable to me <coughs> so it says patram पुष्प फल तोयम यो मे भक्त प्रयछति तद अहम बिकम्स तद अहम भक्तुपहृत अश्ना प्रयतात्म विच मीन्स दैट आई आई से इट वर्ड बाय वर्ड सो पत्र लीफ पुष्प फ्लावर फल फ्रूट toyam water yah me with the sandhi becomes yo me bhaktya so one who bhaktya with devotion prayachati gives me tat aham that i bhakti upahritam so full of devotion uh, ashnami i accept it prayatatmana one who's trying very hard to surrender i will take whatever that person gives with devotion okay so i'll sing this out for you and i want you to repeat after me and then we'll do it together but uh, sorry just before we go on i'll re- just read out the translation once for you so he who offers to me with devotion a leaf a flower a fruit a cup of water that offering of love from the striving soul is acceptable to me and i'll do this with a tune now for you but patram pushpam phalam toyam yo me bhaktya prayachhati tad aham bhaktyu parhitam ashnami prayatatmanah uttamam can we say that together once पत्र पुष्प फल तोयम 
यो मे भक्त्या प्रयच्छति तदहम भक्त्युपहृत अश्नामि प्रयतात्मन We now have a very famous quote on the Bhagavad Gita by a famous American writer, philosopher and transcendentalist Ralph Waldo Emerson and he has this to say of the Gita. He says, I owed my friend and I owed a magnificent day to the Bhagavad Gita. It was the first of books. It was as if an empire spake to us. Nothing small or unworthy, but large, serene, consistent. the voice of an old intelligence which in another age and climate had pondered and thus disposed of the same questions which exercise us so dhanyavadah